going on, everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're here for episode five of our College Football 25 Team Builder Dynasty with the Parts Unknown P Monkeys. We are here in year one. We sit at two and eight. We are every bit that two and eight record. Offensively, we've been able to keep the losses exciting. But, you know, I saw the predictions. I asked the very first episode, how many wins? And I saw a lot of people saying four wins three four wins and we are below that and those were very low expectations and while we were able to get a very impressive victory in our last episode 61 to 46 an absolute shootout with florida international which you saw our quarterback patio and the senior four tuts 200 yards on the ground for baba clapped tito williams 150 yards two touchdowns had a kickoff uh punt return i believe it was for a touchdown and defensively dominique taylor stood out we had a couple turnovers interception wise it was a great team performance one that i do believe will give us confidence against six and four sam houston state and ranked western kentucky to close out our regular season in today's episode we are going to finish the regular season and we're going to go through the entirety of the off season and i'm hoping that we get a couple good roles in the transfer portal that's that's about all i am saying you look at our current state of recruiting a lot of our guys have already kind of signed on and i'm not expecting this recruiting class to be anything crazy it's year one of a one-star rebuild i don't think we really want to be landing four stars five stars trying to expose the system we need to organically find players that are in our area code that are in our range that want to buy in to the parts unknown philosophies and I think by the time we finish today's episode, we'll be able to have 15 out of 15 on our targets list and hopefully have 15 contributors for year two. Quick update to finish the regular season. We have been going with the randomized playbook every single game. We hit a random number generator and we play with a different offense and different defense every single week. Literally after the last college football 25 dynasty patch, this is bugged. If you touch your offense or defensive playbook, you're going to have a bunch of players that want to transfer in the offseason you're gonna have players ratings change it's simply absurd and of course that's like the hook that's the gimmick of our dynasty here so unfortunately we're just gonna have to leave it as is there was a live patch today i'm recording this on friday but there's no patch notes as to what they fixed as of me recording this so for today's episode we're just gonna leave the playbooks as is and hopefully when we're back for episode six everything will be fine so yes, we are going to finish the regular season here today. Uh, quick apologies for the lack of uploads this week. I don't think we've had a video since Tuesday, Monday. A couple reasons, just very quickly. I did have to go to the ER a day. That was a full day lost, 10 hours there, getting trying to see what's going on. I think we're good. I think we're on the mend. We'll see, but... I wouldn't really worry too much about it. I'm not worrying too much about it, but that was a day gone. Also, starting this weekend, tomorrow, Saturday, there's going to be some cool stuff dropping. I have been working on content, but I I definitely didn't get the bounce of uploads that I wanted to this week. So we are going to make sure we get this out here Friday. And of course, Friday, just half the day, half the work day was the servers were down. So it's, it's going to be probably a little bit later of an upload tonight, but thank you guys for your patience. And we're gonna get back on track starting today in this weekend we have 10 coach credits to spend off of that victory over florida international i'm thinking we go one in the o-line for sure i mean maybe double up on the offensive line you're only gonna go as far as they will take you when we're recruiting i feel pretty good with covey our top quarterback recruit that like we don't have to you know rush for a quarterback next year like i'm thinking about next year's recruiting cycle what positions am I for sure going to want to get better at? I feel like offensive line, but then also, I mean, our defense has been so bad. So I'm going to throw one on the D line here as well. And because this is the final episode, I'm absolutely shocked Tito Williams is not in the Heisman Trophy race. Not even the top five. At no point this year has he been in the top five. Not even in the top receiving rankings. The only spot that we're giving him any respect, he is currently projected to be the best returner. We got two weeks to maybe screw that up. But, I mean, the season that he's having is being downright disrespectful. And, yeah, maybe he's a 69 overall, which is nice. But the fact that he is the most receiving yards, he has the second most touchdowns, he has the highest yards per reception, is far and away 
the most dynamic return man. 900 yards, 300 more than the next best. He has double the amount of touchdowns of second place. And a punt return touchdown to give him five total on the season. So five special teams touchdowns, 17 receiving touchdowns. He's getting absolutely robbed. I mean, it's a fine. They don't want to give our school any respect. They don't want to put us in the national spotlight. I get it. So we just need to keep doing our things. And it starts against the Bearcats of Sam Houston. I'm looking at the It's not a bad roster. Not at all. They got some above 80 players, which, you know, we got Noah Smith. He looks like he's going to be a dog. He got some good speed. They got a solid center. They got a nice linebacker there that I'm sure is going to want to try to jump as many balls over the middle as he possibly can. But I think there's a great opportunity to get our third win of the season. And I'm also curious, just one thing that has kind of stood out to me is we haven't had like any big injuries all year long. I want to make sure that like we had injuries still on, which we do. We have the wear and tear system on, which we definitely have experienced the wear and tear throughout. But I don't know. I might have to look at upping the injury. I just, or either that or we have the best medical staff in the nation. Go boom, Howard. Nice TFL. It's a nice PBU. We start with a punt. All right, couple of nothing runs sets up a third and medium. But well, we can get that to the running back. Gets just enough. A couple runs didn't really work out the best. Wow. Damn it. Our team plays really well when we blitz. There's also a downside to a blitz. You know what, though? I didn't respect that quarterback speed. Now we know. We can make adjustments. In-game adjustments, that won't happen again. Third and four. Now that we're over midfield, could be four down territory. I'd love to get this to Bankson right at the sideline. Get that first down. Fearless starts. Ah, doesn't have enough arm to get there. Had a chance. That is an injury to our center. Got the tight end. Ruben still. Get in there. Let's go. What a response. Doesn't celebrate too. Gives the ball right back to the official. Old school. There we go. Holmes. Nice tackle the outside. Third and 14. Defense has done their job once. Let's make a little habit out of that. We'll go Boomhauer in coverage here. Scrambler, dude. Oh, it's fourth and inches. That's going to be a tough call. They're deep in their territory. And we get off the field. There we go. Finally, a big run for Bob O'Clock. Great break and breaks an ankle. Go. Williams. Bob O'Clock out the backfield. We're going to have options. Right there. Hey, turn around. Let's go. Makes the grab. That's terrible. That's, I mean, what's worse, the throw or the drop pick? Jesus, and we're getting decleated by their blockers. The only win we've had so far is like Sam Houston's 72 overall corner drops as many picks as our 68 overall corner does. That has been the only win. Other than that, we can't win in the trenches. They're breaking almost every tackle. Team needs to wake up. And their quarterback, White Lightning. Said it wouldn't happen again, and it happened again. He oh, we had, I mean, we didn't have him. We had him, but we didn't have him. Best receiver in the nation. Come on, guy, not wearing a jersey. This is a Tito Williams route, man. He is, he wins a lot of these. I got speed. Unstoppable. I don't, I don't know. Our DBs are vastly overmatched right now. 
<laughs> Never about to wave the white flag on this one, fellas. I've seen enough. At least defensively. I mean, we got to try to force something to Tito. If you're not forcing, you force it to him. Good pick. Makes up for their bad drop on the first drive. Oh, that's not one. Yep. Ooh. Can't say they don't deserve it. They're kicking our ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God! Get me out of this game! Throw it in the trash. Not even looking at this film review. Throw it in the trash! Great, we get a motivated Western Kentucky who lost their top 25 ranking and I'm sure is going to want to take out a lot of frustrations on a team that couldn't block Sam Houston State to save our life. And Western Kentucky is probably the second best roster we'll play all year after Alabama. Just casually have a 94 speed running back. They don't have Malachi Corley at wide receiver anymore, but they have Dalvin Smith. They got a couple 90 bombs out there. Oh, yeah, and their quarterback's just a monster. 6'7, 250, TJ Finley. Well, we're probably not going to play in a bowl game, so let's try our best. To not have a repeat performance and send off our seniors, Patty Owen, Tito Williams, send them off in style. Sick. Sick. Yeah, let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good start. Good start. As expected. Hey, you know what? This is going to be the full. Well, it is. This is the final game. I'm happy. At least we get something with Tito Williams. Absolute legend. 18th receiving touchdown. That is just them not respecting his speed. Yeah, he had a little bit of an off game last week. But he's still checked in. He's still locked in. He knows, much like Patty Owen, year one, the record books are a clean slate. He wants to set a record that will never be touched. God, the six seven man take it off with it. That's the last thing we need. Yeah, we got played. I thought the QB was gonna take it and we're gonna smash it with Blue Bauer. We look like a bunch of jackasses. Again, he gets jammed up at the line. We're almost getting pick routes that aren't getting called. But if they're not gonna call, hey. We play to the whistle. It was this last week against Sam Houston. Go, Ruben Stahl, the tight end breaks a tackle. And all the momentum with Parts Unknown University. And let's go. Finally, some decent run blocking. And a lead on the road, trying to finish our first ever season with a huge upset. Chance to get a little bit of a stand. Third and eight. They could be four down territory. Western Kentucky, probably competing in the Central USA. And uh, that was uh, probably not smart using a DN in coverage. Tied up at 21. On... Bullshit throw, man. Think we find some magic? Think we start to find a pocket, couple quick scores, and then you just... Go, oh, Bob! Right there. Boom. Ruben Stahl. 
That's not even Ruben Stahl. That's Simon the backup. Must be his second catch all year. But we're tied up at 28. Hold on till half. All right, let's see if we've got any better at field. Oh, probably not. 11 wind. That's not brutal. Let's go. Halftime lead. Oh, great. Here we go. Yep. Hey. When you're as disadvantaged as our defense, I'm never going to fall going for the big hit and looking like an idiot. Because, you know, we got we to gotta chase those turnovers. Because they're going to score anyways. The only way we're probably going to get a stop, probability-wise, is to risk it for that 30% massive hit stick that could force a fumble. That's what happens. Tackle in the air. The big run by Baba Claude after our first half where we had like 20, 26, 27. All right, we'll try another field goal. Last one worked out kind of well. Oh, yeah, we're getting, I'm getting to find in a pocket here. A little late to be the last game of the regular season to have any confidence kicking a field goal. We're going to able to force a punt. And we're just going to continue with the cheese to Tito. Well, it's his last game. Cheese away. I think he always caught his slants today. Five catches, 212 yards, and counting. Do it yourself, Penny, and the lead is back with the P Monkeys. His fifth touchdown of the day. Whatever. Not worth anything. Get home. That's all you gotta do. Get home. Or we'll make a play it short. TFL Jody Smith. I think again, we just live and die by the blitz. They're going for it on fourth and three. Big chance at a momentum shift. Dominique Taylor on the blitz. See what he can get home. Holy shit. Good play by them. Fast man. Any team that has like you've you've skill position players over 90 speed, we're gonna struggle to keep up with you. Oh, that's gonna be a hey, hey, we're good. Through the laundry, 15. On third and 20, free first down. Unbelievable. Can't catch a single break, huh? Close. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just finish strong for our seniors. That's all I ask. Still gonna be a one score game. I don't wanna lose to that thing. Or we could just continue to abuse number three. Oh, no! Huh? Legend. Need to get a replay on that one. That's one of his best touchdowns. He's going to be close to 300 yards. So it was thrown behind him. Juke, broken ankle. One, two, and a half. Missed tackle. You're not winning us in a foot race in anyone over Tito Williams. Two-point conversion to tie it. Get creative with it. Do it ourselves. Easy. Forget about the QB. We're tied at 48. Okay, 
All right, we got this down to the two-minute warning, and we're feeling good about our kick game if it comes down to it. But I think, obviously, right now, let's get the clock going. Make them either use their timeouts or limit the amount of time they can respond. But third and eight, I can't just... We'll go stick. Third and eight, you can't not give Tito a chance to get this first down. This is going to be our last offensive snap. Live and die. We're not going to make that kick. No chance. We've barely got it over at 45, let alone 50 with the pulse. Why is it just... If we have more throw power, that's a good, th that's a good throw. He got open. Yeah, and then just, yeah, let's just give them zero resistance. Let them get all the free yards they want. Classic defense. All right, we're just going blitz. Live and die by the blitz. They score. We get a chance. We might get a couple TFLs out of this. one come on defense one play yeah look just <laughs> I mean they probably don't trust their kicker they're like let's just go get a touchdown if we can but they deserve to lose this game one second on the clock Please kick it to Tito Williams. Oh, this could be insane. Please. And if they kick it to the other guy, I'm going to try to, like, lateral it to him. Oh, please, for the love of God. I, even if we don't get it, just kick it to the right. Yeah, that's... Hey, proud of my seniors. Undermanned, severely undermanned. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team that was ranked a week ago. Our defense continues to be absolutely pathetic. We know what we need to get better at. Two and ten. Screw Western Kentucky. They were supposed to do that. Four touchdowns. We got one more touchdown than pick. We went broke even over 500 yards on the day for Patio and run game was tough. 2.6 yards per carry. But Tito Williams did his thing. Six catches, 297. Three touchdowns, 76 Bob O'Clot. Simon with another touchdown. I mean, I don't even want to show the defense. They're walking home. And they say, we finished on a high note. Player of the week. Earned it. They might not get the awards, but honored at a national level as well. As a winner goes to Dylan Gabriel, the Oklahoma transfer at Oregon with a very impressive 45 touchdown, only three interception season. But look at that. We end up getting a special teams returner. Really? You show his receiving. How would we just honor him as a receiver? An early national side day, we're able to clean up the remainder of our recruits, Carew, Snelling, Root, and Michelle all sign on. So we finish before the transfer portal with a yeah, 50. That's a good sized class. First class, anyways. We did also level up one more time with our coach. So with this, I think we. Hmm. I think we'll go here, get the wide receiver tight end action. Because. The increased weekly hours is not going to be a benefit to us right now because we don't have enough hours anyways, as it is. So to get more of a boost when we do do things, I think it's going to be more important. So getting all these up to two out of four will be more important than, you know, three and four out of four right now. So as we close out the regular season, we do get hits with our coach prestige falling a little bit, even though our team prestige went up a half star. So it's progress. Uh, two of our starters there, Combs and Munson, 
potential risk of transfer that'd be lame our final season stats year one patty owen 4100 yards 34 touchdowns to 27 picks playing with a you know what was he started as a 67 overall in heisman i think a positive touchdown interception i'll take that every day of the week Running right the ball, Bubba Clot had that three-game suspension. You got to figure if he didn't, probably would have had a shot at going over a thousand yards. But a great one-two punch there, and we're both going to be having them return to a back to our back. So I feel good about our running back room next season. The legendary Tito Williams, 55 catches, 1600 yards, 20 touchdowns, so far and away setting the receiving record for our school, and he will now be the pace that we have to try to beat over the coming year rubenstall really nice season for a tight end 600 yards three touchdowns he became so reliable that i think a lot of our picks were trying to get him the ball over the middle quickly uh banks with a solid year duquesne with a solid season and we got some younger wide receivers here you know reynolds ishmael these are gonna be guys you gotta need to step up we're gonna need to find out who is gonna be our dogs going forward um until the injury game barrios our 58 starting center had zero sacks allowed which i thought was gonna be pretty impressive but uh, obviously had that nightmare against Sam Houston when he got hurt. Combs is our leading tackler with 92. Dominique Taylor, 89 with 17 TFLs, four sacks. Harriet Smith, Boomhauer had a nice campaign. Uh, 17 TFLs, four sacks for Taylor. Led the team 21 TFLs and four sacks for the junior Elijah Peppers. We had three and a half from Sawyer. 19 TFLs from BD Wells. So pretty good production behind the line of scrimmage, all things considered. Jody Smith and Melo Bravo tied for the lead with two picks on the squad. A couple singles across the board. Kicking. Well, we got into a rhythm late, but we really just avoided kicking. Uh, not a lot of gongs because punter's not very good. Iconic return here, though. Another 1,000 yards for Tito Williams with four touchdowns. So, I mean, what do we got here? 1,100 yards, five touchdowns. 27 almost i'd say probably 2700 yards and 25 touchdowns on the year for tito williams one of one unreal teddy glass sean simon jean baptiste duquesne zach boomhauer and larry wright no chance boomhauer no and duquesne he was I, I would have guessed the guy that would break out at our wide receiver room. Brutal. And the injustice continues if Tito Williams doesn't get drafted. He'd get drafted. And this is very painful. We have three stars. Guys I've heard of, Tate Rotomaker. Can't get him, man. We. I was just going to say, like, do we just... Do we say screw it? And if you're interested, we go for it. But I... We can't. We, we got to stick with the house rules that we have. We can't go after three stars until we're a two-star program. So we will still be active when we came to the transfer portal, but we can only get up to two-star players. So for the portal, we're going to cast a very wide net. 15 targets, all of them two-star. I did try in terms of like a tiebreaker if they were a freshman, get the most years possible, most years of development. All two stars. Some of them are pretty regarded at their at their various positions here. Humphreys is top 31, even though he's only a one star. So I'm interested. Top 20 player in McNichols uh, as a cover linebacker. Number nine center is a freshman. We have a couple guys in the top 20s, a couple deep threats at wide receiver. A running back transfer from Clemson. So maybe there's something there. Plus, he's an elusive back over 200 pounds. I am intrigued. But there's also the gamble. Too wide of a net has been you know cast, and we don't really have the hours if things don't go our way in the first day or two of the portal. Not bad though, first school for most of these players. I'd say at this point, any player that we're not first for, we're gonna need to save those hours, especially because we have to start getting some visits. I'm not like super worried about interior of my offensive line. And you're a sophomore, you're not a freshman, so we you know, kind of min max and find tiebreakers so we got 180 hours so we could send a couple visits here for day two we had thomas in for a visit did not go well at all the key thing that's popping up i'm gonna move the webcam out of the way that's like our one true area that a lot of people because we're parts unknown these kids that want to get away go nowhere you want to come here those castaway kids they want to come to parts unknown 
uh, we're going into the final day. We've yet to get a single transfer portal land. So any player that we can hard sell and it's not a brutal sell job, like for Miller's case at safety, anything that's like C plus or above, we're going to hit with a hard sell and see if we can get at least five guys on the last day of the portal. All right, see so we got. We got two-star deep threat, Nate Spillman, Jackson Ford at tight end, Deion Howden at D tackle. So we missed out on the really good center. We get McNichols at linebacker. Travion right at corner, Elijah Cannon at corner, and retool in the secondary. Wasn't happy with the defense as a whole. Oh, we didn't get the center. Let's go. So we only end up missing out on the Clemson running back. I'll take that. So we finished with the 114th recruiting class in the nation. 24 two stars. Um, but you know, it's not a bad starting spot at all. And looking at some of the schools that we landed players from the portal, Tulsa ranked, Louisville, Illinois, UAB finish rank. We got Louisville again, a Tennessee transfer, couple Mississippi states. I mean, these guys come from big programs. But this is the moment of truth. Got to see the dev traits here. We do not have very much upside, very many dev traits on our base roster. Nothing that's even really worth talking about. So if we can get some stars, some elites, that's going to be huge. Damian Miller, the transfer safety impact dev. Impact dev on the transfer Quinn and Ford. Couple normals. Impact on the linebacker McNichols. Impact on the D tackle Dion Howden. Impact on the center McMillan. Impact on Jackson Ford. Now this is our recruiting class. Normal, normal. Impact on the DN Snelling. Normal on Carew. Rashid, who I would probably put in the discussion as arguably our best recruit only a normal dev ramsey normal reyna he was the insta commit he was fully in normal dev elam at safety with an impact theus normal normal on Ezen, normal on layton bond with a normal griggs with an impact Rhodes with a normal and covey oh that's can't go up or down dev traits college football 25 but again when you play the house rules that we were given, I was not expecting really, I was, maybe a star. Definitely was not expecting an elite two star, but it would have been cool to get a star to sneak in there, but yeah, is what it is. We're going to build off this class. So with that, we are going to wrap up today's episode. Gameplay wise, you know what? We let our seniors go on a high note. Patty one went off. Tito Williams, the legend, will forever be a parts unknown legend. Did some work during the transfer portal. And everything is set for year two of the Parts Unknown P Monkey. So thank you guys very much for watching and all the love and support on the series so far. If it is your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We're getting real close to 175,000 subscribers here on the channel. It'll be a great milestone to hit. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the series and you want to help the YouTube channel out with those YouTube robots. Let me know in the comment section below who was your favorite recruit that we landed of that pile. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace. I love you. Have a good one. Stay tuned to your sub boxes for tomorrow. We have something cool coming out.